Welcome to Super Mario Galaxy, where I'm going to be doing my first Let's Play. Who, who knew I was going to be doing Let's Plays? But, without further ado, Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. So, I'm actually playing this on the Wii U because I, um, I had it for the original Wii, but the, the disc runner and the Wii doesn't work anymore. And by the way, I'm picking Toad. Because Toad's great. I would do an impersonation of him, but I don't think anyone would like that. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just hop right into the story and get into it. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. Ooh. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. But what you would say? That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. And now, we get to play, because Peach invited us, dude. So, one main reason that I'm revisiting this game, because I played when I was like, seven <laughs> and it's just a great game visually and in general because <laughs> the music's great and also the again the visuals are great I also think the story is really good too the only thing that I might not hate, like about this game is that you can't really run faster it's just kind of speed walking <laughs> And here comes Bowser. Here to ruin our day. Run, Toads! We gotta save him, dude. Well, one other thing, I also have no idea how Peach got a hold of a Luma, but you'll see what Lumas are later if you've never played this game, and kind of a backstory on it, because this game explains really well everything that's happening. Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. I can't really do a Bowser impersonation, dude. I'm not gonna do that. And apparently he has lightning powers now. And alien ships. Forgot to mention that. Because those never appear in <laughs> ever again. It's just the first time. And now we gotta try and save Peach. I'm gonna quickly get over there. That's the wrong kind of jump, I didn't mean to do that. And eventually, we will be able to spin and crack these crystals. But until then, not really. What's gonna happen to our beloved Peach? Here we go. It's cutting. As my Wii remote vibrates. And now they pull up her castle. Just like in Paper Mario. Except it's a little better graphically <laughs> this time around. That Wii remote is vibrating, dude. It 
is going bonkers. It is going absolutely ballistic, dude. It's going insane. Hi Mario, there you go. You got hit by the PlayStation. And down he goes. And thus begins the story of Super Mario Galaxy. As Aluma tries to save us. And we have our first little planet that we can go around and discover as we transform to money. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. I will catch you if it's the last thing I do, little rabbit. Uh, I know I'm not a beginner at this game. I know what to do. I can even long jump. Look at me go. Oh, I went beyond. Okay. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where we are. Or where you are. Whoops. Close enough. Oh. That's not how it's supposed to work. So, recently I've been <laughs> replaying this game, so hopefully it shouldn't take too long where I should find them. Or if I can find them. Come here, you rabbit. Come here. Oh my gosh, the controls of this gravity is kind of wacky sometimes. There we go, I got one. You got me. I did. And you're Luma? Oh, I should have known I should have hidden in the crater. So, the kind of hint to where the next rabbit will be. Is this the crater? Clearly not. <laughs> I am forgetting where they are. This is not good for ears, truly. I need to find them. I don't remember it being this hard. So we found that one in the grass. Where are the other ones? Because we will find these rabbits and then maybe steal their foot for luck. Because that's what we do. We're gonna get on here, maybe. Oh, there's one. Come here, let's not. I will catch you. You can't run away forever. Ah, oh, that's unfair. And I gotcha. There you go. You caught me. Now tell me where your friends are. You should have hidden in the crater. Where is this crater you all talk about? Is this it? This looks like a mighty crater. Whatever. All right. Crater, 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 crater. These look like small little bumps like craters, right? These count them. I'd count them. 
But clearly the rabbit's not there. Tell me where this crater of yours is. So... Ooh, trippy. I cannot find these rabbits for my life. Even though I thought I knew what I was doing. Oh! Apparently I just had to jump in a pit. Come here. Why are you guys so fast? I am not fast, I'm not a rabbit. Ugh, I found your weakness, it's water. I've done it. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Well, maybe you shouldn't have hid in the crater. Wow, you caught all of us? Maybe you really can help Mama. Who's Mama, you say? Well, we're about to find out, because a magical castle just appeared. Which totally makes sense. With an ominous glow behind it. Uh, sure, I'll talk to him. Sorry about bringing you here so suddenly. We should probably tell you where you are. There's a connection here deep... Here to deep space, far from your lands, we call it the gateway to the starry sky. Ooh. Mama's waiting up above. Please help her with whatever she asks. I will do as Mama says. For I'm a simp, I will do it. I can't wait until we get the spin. And here we have Rosalina, or Mama. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. She is tall. <laughs> My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. A special Luma. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Oh, so you're... I'm adopting... Oh, oh, oh no, what's... Oh. I have infused with this space goat. And now I have the ability to shake. Yay. Disaster has struck us. Just as it has visited you with Luma, I hope you can resist. I can't talk. You can rescue the grand stars. May the star shine down on you. Bye, Mama. <laughs> so that was Rosalina. And soon we'll get more interactions with her. And eventually a backstory. Which is very cool. I like how that game does that. Uh, what do you want? Shake to spin the things that look breakable. So, the giant crystals. And that's how you also defeat enemies in this game. And you do launching by this. Now, this is technically the first galaxy we ever play in. And in this game, you get these little stars to move from planet to planet. This is a little section one, where you have to collect five pieces of the star. Or... Yeah, or that'll explain it. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. Yeah, because that's scary. Because he'll literally get sucked in. Because I'll probably do that eventually, because I'm not perfect. And here's a Goomba as I run into him. And he will give me a coin. I will gladly take one up. I don't an additional Mario. Cool. And where'd the last one go? That was okay. And with that, you should be able to launch the next planet. Whee! I always like the because this like 3D platform style is very like it's very original because look at the it's it's a sphere. You never play games on spheres. It's just so unique. It was one of the first games to do this. And then a lot of other games copied it. And they got... Everyone liked it. <laughs> wow! I beat up everyone. Get you. And I'll jump onto your head. <laughs> and... What do you need? Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key. I thought I... Killed all of them. Okay. 
Did I not kill one of them? The actual Goomba. Should have known. Not those off brand Kirkland Goombas. Wait. Oh, I need to grab the key. Whoopsies, my bad. I did a half job, but had a full mustache, dude. I should have known. Alright, what you got? Thanks, would you mind rescuing my buddy in the base up there, too? I'll transform into a sling star. Just jump into me after I transform! Insert um, transformers noise. I don't have time to do that. There we go. And Slinga. Sklamma. I want the coins. Oh, and these are star bits where you can do this. Yeah. <laughs> Made this an R rated game. Oh, that's a big Goomba. Uh, let's see if I can click these star bits up here with my pointer. Spin it so he gets knocked out. So I'll do this. And then he can give me the key. So I'll do that. And we can get in the thing. Make sense? Good. Now that you guys weren't paying attention, I'll run to the, the pipe. Hurry! Down here! It's where the Grand Star is. Spoiler alert. And now this section is very cool because it's the first inside of the sphere we've been able to do. We've been waiting for you! And now I get to rescue this Grand Star which they're sucking. That's a Grand Star! We have to save it! Who do you think I am? Of course I will. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making... something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we ever know what that is. Uh, we have to do we have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. I got you. So the mechanics in here are very cool because it's just an inside of a sphere, which is yeah, you don't see that every day. So we have to push every single square to make it blue instead of yellow. Unlock as I get electrocuted, as I unlock the Grand Star. Don't get electrocuted again. And I'll go over here to tap all these to blue as well. Turn off the flip on the floor and shut down this machine. Oh, I know. I'm done. <laughs> what do you think I've been doing this whole time? You think I'm an amateur? Oh, look, the Grand Star's free. Maybe because I knew what I was doing. Sorry, Luma, but this is just not your field. I'm just better at this than you. I might need your help in the future, don't get me wrong, but I know what I'm doing. And you got a Grand Star. Very similar to the getting the... Oh, what are those called? The things from Super Mario Sunshine. The Shines? The Shine Stars? Yeah. And now we have the Observatory, which is... Very cool in my opinion. It's just a giant hovering Starcraft, which we eventually go get to say, uh, use to save Peach. And we use Grand Stars to power it to move. And once we get enough of these Grand Stars to power it, we can move it. And we have to unlock new areas using Grand Stars, which is also a very neat way to do things. And also, if you fall off it, you won't die. So that's very helpful as well. And now we've powered up our first area the terrace you got a grand star yay star bit count you've covered a new galaxy let's go find that new galaxy and now we get to meet rosalina once more and the beacon is lit again it shines weakly maybe only as bright as a class 6 star but at least the poor lumens will survive now very cool Oh, well, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumis. Very cool. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force has latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits in our power source. Power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. By the way, look at the art. 
it may be like simple, but it catches the eye. It's like a child piece of work, but it's still very detailed as I drop my nunchuck. <laughs> Whoops. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars. That's cool looking Bowser. And discovered the power to cross the universe. Please, I have a, a request. Ugh. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use it, our few remaining stars to look for other power stars, so we can move again. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these, like the terrace. But the only one that is working right now, powered by the power star, you restored is the one to terrace, as I said three times later. Please go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies, and you can see them from there! Big breath! If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory, Observatory's abilities to fly a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. I don't know why I'm giving that Luma such a deep voice, but it will be, and forever will be, a deep voice. You can't change my mind. You, my friend. You deserve a star bit. Oh. They don't do that yet. They'll do it eventually. And now we'll enter the terrace. We'll enter our first galaxy. Which I'm pretty sure is the good egg galaxy. Not 100% sure. And now we go to use a pole star. Up here. Where we enter each galaxy. Which is also just a blue luna. Which here forever will be a pull star as I pull up and can see the new galaxy. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory, and the bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you will be able to travel. So you pretty much have to like get enough power stars to get each one. So in this in this run that I'm doing, uh, I'm just gonna try to 100% it and get every single star possible and you'll be here to bear with it <laughs> yes it's undeniable we're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy but I must warn you that the evil readings are off the charts please be careful what's that supposed to mean they're off the charts <laughs> they're, re they're so evil over there <laughs> get away all right good egg galaxy dino piranha our first technical boss and we got new enemies that are exclusive to this game which never see before I only really like the bosses in, game, in this game we'll get to them eventually we're only gonna do like probably one this episode probably this one this is like one part of the galaxy but the bosses in this game are phenomenal I have to tell you and as you just saw if we step on enemies, you get a coin, and if you shake them with your spin, you get a star bit, or star bits, per se. And you also will find star bits lying around everywhere, so try to collect a lot of them, because eventually, if you want to try to watch the game, you might need them. Let's hit that block. Uh, uh, hit the block. Not to mention, this game's music is beautiful. So, again, you would have to go to the other side to, like, use the gravity to walk over like this. But I like the cheese, so I'm not going to do that. I'll take the scenic route. And I will go this way, because I'm cool. And also, I think there's a one up down here, as I get more star bits. As I fail to go into the pipe several times. And by the way, these little yellow things, if you shoot a star bit at them like this, like this, there will a coin pop up. And there's also little flower buds that do that as well, so if you need health, get one of those. And now, do 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 do, little retro for the fans, everyone loves it. See if I can not mess this up. And bingo! We got our one up. Let's hope it doesn't despawn before we get there. Uh, 
perfect. All right. Cool. And yeah, might as well go back down this pipe because we don't want to spawn the other side of the world. That's not preferable. I'll just go back down here. Alright, cool. I'll also collect that. And we'll move on to the next planet because that's pretty much everything for this planet. Beat him up. And if we talk to you, my friends are ahead. Hurry. Pull into the Pole star, and now I use this bad boy as we get to our next planet, which looks like a peanut. What do you have to say? If you get hurt, grab a coin to patch yourself up. Well, look what I said. <laughs> Thanks, game. Always looking out for me. You know what? I'm, oh, I probably might get hurt anyway. So, something cool about these if you hit. You spin at the right time like that. You can break the rock. Timing is everything. If you don't have confidence in your timing ability, don't do it. You're just gonna waste some hearts. And this should be the last one. Here we go. As we move to the next plan. Let's go. Or if I can get my jump right. <laughs> And here's enemies that are annoying, they just latch on to you and suck your blood, kind of deal. Yeah. And here we have the gold piranha plant, and that guy. I don't remember his name. Sorry. You know, I'm gonna step on you so I get a coin. Or not. I was just trying to make sure I stick the landing. Whoops. Oh, here's a coin. Very convenient. Yoink. And by the way, there's a black hole underneath, and if you fall, you die. So, there's a, those, those are going to be incorporated into a lot of levels in the future. Now, this is just a subsection for fun, and it's very completely optional. I do it because I'm a gamer, and you can't stop me. That one's good. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, cool. Did that. I think this just launches us back to the same place. Yep. Or to the next island, that works. And if you hit these guys, they give you a lot of star bits. So, yeah. And these red things are just annoying, just don't run into them. And now we have the next section. What do you say? Watch out! After you spin once, you have to wait until your Luma comes back before you can spin again. Yep, see? And then it comes back in and you get to the power again. Because you can't rapid fire it. Which makes sense, it'd be kind of overpowered. You'd also be able to jump infinitely, because it gives you a little boost higher. Try this and go meet our big friend Dino. And let's collect our stars. Get all of them. Heck yeah. Dana. So, I'm probably gonna make this fight look like a piece of cake, but I wanna get all the star bits first. You know what? I'll just get this one and I'll hit him. I'm probably gonna finish it off really quickly because I'm a gamer, but it's okay. Honestly, look at him, he's so cute. He might drool a little bit though, but it's okay. I'm just gonna whack him in the head again. But now he's gonna get angry. And he's gonna beat you up. Look at that man, he's he's angry. Pow. It's kind of easy. If you know the algorithm of him, which I do. He just kind of does not go after you very sharply. He's very wide turns. If I could hit him, there you go. Yeah. Poor baby boy, he got hit and now he'll Exploit three, two, one. Oof. <laughs> and now we have our first power star. Well deserved from Dino Man over here. And now we will get our first power star. Yeah! We did it! 
Alright, we complete our first galaxy. And now, I will catch you in the next one where we will be continuing Good Egg Galaxy. I'll see you in the next one.